Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today, or I guess in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to download an image from a website um, in Java. And I think you guys will really like this one. Uh, it's pretty cool because you can download really any image from any website uh, through Java programming. Um, and it's really not that hard. So uh, let's get started. First, what we're going to do is I'm going to clear the console because I tested it out before we did this. And let's get started. Um, let's import a ton of stuff. I'm going to type quickly. If you want to pause, you can. We have to import one, two, three, four, five lines, I believe. And let's go. So import java.awt.image. Buffered image. Okay, I'm going to fix that. And import. I'm going to fix all import errors after I finish typing them in. Um, so let me see what's wrong with this import. Uh, I'm guessing it's because it does not even exist. Um, it's because I used an uppercase I rather than a lowercase one. Um, so import. Uh, Java dot io dot io exception to fix errors if they occur. Import Java dot net dot URL to find the URL of the place we're accessing. Import Java x dot image io dot image io. Okay, and that's all correct and all we need. So let's start by making a string and we're going to name the string extension and we're going to set extension equal to dot jpeg. And after that we're going to create a buffered image um, object. So let's do buffered image image equals null because we don't want it to equal anything right now and then try as you learned about before and then we'll catch the exception exception e okay and then inside this try we're going to do url url equals new url and then we're going to enter what our location of the url is um, and why and uh, the reason we're doing this is because we're specifying where we want the image to be downloaded from. Because you can't just tell it to download an image, you need to tell it where the image is located. So, I have pulled up an image of a Coca-Cola can from i.imgur.com. And let's copy it and minimize this. And then what we can do is we can do parentheses, quotations, and then paste it. Now instead of having this whole thing in here, we're actually going to delete a little bit. And then we're going to do plus extension. And the reason we did plus extension is because you looked here and we did uh, string extension equals dot jpeg. Um, it's good to use this because we can use the dot jpeg extension over, over and over again if we'd like. Um, which isn't necessary, but it's just a nice neat thing to do. So then we're going to declare um, or we're going to set image to equal the URL. So we're going to do image equals image io dot read and then we're going to put URL in the input. So what this will do is it will read the image from this URL which is the Coca-Cola can. And after that we can do image write. So image io dot write and then here's where we have to put in a couple of things. Um, we can put image and then the format name we can put in qu uh, quotations JPEG and then in the output we're gonna put it in a specific folder. So we'll name this file and then um, in quotations we'll put the location of where we want it to be. So for me I made a folder called images in my C drive, forward slash, forward slash, images, because we're going in the images folder, slash, slash, downloaded picture dot JPEG. 
Now, uh, actually, instead of using .jpg, let me do plus extension. Now, um, the reason uh, I chose downloaded picture is just my own personal preference. You could change this to picture or something else, whatever you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to keep it at that. And let me see why an error is occurring. Oh, okay. Um, in front of file, I need to put new file because it's, of course, a new file. Um, yeah, so what this will do is it will write the image, image, which is this picture at imgur.com. So we'll write this image, and it's in, and uh, the format of the image is a JPEG file, as we've known. And then we chose um, new file, and we chose where to put the image once it's downloaded. And we chose to put it in C images downloaded picture as a JPEG file, because that's what our extension is. So we can then write below system out println write was not was successful. Okay, and I'm going to organize this a tiny bit. Looks good. And then in the catch, instead of exception E, we're going to put IO exception E. And then we're going to put E dot print stack trace. As you know uh, before, what that means is we're printing the error or what caused something to go wrong into the console. And then we can enter system out println um, and error occurred. Great. So what this will do is it will get the URL of the image, which is imgur.com and then this. And then it will read the image, which means it's kind of compiling the data, saying, OK, I know what your image is. What do you want me to do with it next? And then we chose to write the image to see images downloaded picture. So this is just all one thing inside this try catch statement. And if an error occurs at any time, it will catch the error, print what the error was, and say an error occurred. So let's try this out. Let's try running the program. It says select resources to save. We're going to save it. And the console window should pop up. If you look here, it says write was successful. Now let's go see what it uh, printed out to our folder. If you look here in our C images folder, it downloaded the picture, downloaded picture.jpg. And if we open it up, it downloaded a very high quality picture of what we saw online. And that's just what we wanted. So that's how to use um, Java's uh, picture downloading system. Um, and let's try uh, something else. Let's try breaking this so it doesn't work. Um, what we could do is we could enter something like jpgf, and it'll try. And I'll say write was successful, although the picture that was downloaded uh, didn't download correctly. It downloaded as a file named jpgf, which is incorrect. Um, but even though it said write was successful, it didn't actually work. Um, the only way I can think of breaking this is leaving out one of these. I wanted to show you guys how the catch statement works, but I don't think I can do it in this tutorial but you've got the gist of it. That's how the downloading system works. So you can download pictures from the internet. And uh, yeah, so I will put this code on Pastebin so you can look it over and I will see you in the next tutorial.